Hello lovely people, what's up? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing and I'm also really good. Today here is another video and this in this video we, I mean my parents, my friends and I, we are going to another place, a small city located in Sweden known as Trusa. Trusa is a small, as I said earlier, it's a small town in Sweden and it has a population of around 8,000 people. It has one of the most beautiful scenarios in the world such as lakes, rivers, beautiful fishing areas, shops, boats, and so on. So yes, we are going to Trusa and it is mainly a tourist attraction place because it's too beautiful to like, live there so like it's so beautiful that it became a tourist attraction place anyways so as you guys saw in the beginning of the video we were in the bus and we are still in the bus and we are showing you guys the beautiful view from our windows You can see there are a lot of trees, literally the only thing you see here is green trees and plants. Oh look, a sesame field! Or actually I think it's mustard, never mind. It's mustard field. So the bus stopped because it reached a bus stop and it is, the bus is taking in all the other passengers who were waiting to get on this bus. Guys, look at this beautiful mustard field. It's filled with mustard flowers, which will be later used to make the one and only mustard oil for all the mustard oil lovers. So guys, we are on the bus and we are heading towards Trusa. It's gonna take approximately 20 to 30 more minutes to reach there. And meanwhile, I will show you guys the view, the surroundings, which we can see. So as you can see guys, we are slowly entering into a village because of all the emptiness and all the trees. You can realize that we are now in a village. But soon we will get out of this village and go to the city, Trusa. Both our left hand side and our right hand side are filled with these mustard flower fields. You can see they look very beautiful. They're very yellow which makes them look very colorful and makes them pop out more compared to all the other plants. This 
this part looks like it's like in a movie, you know? Because we only see this part, these kinds of stuff in movies, not in real life. And this was my first time seeing this in real life. I uh, mustered a field. And I was so happy to see them. So now we have got out of the village and now we're inside a city. It's obvious because there are more buildings now and less trees. I'm very excited to go there because I want to see how it really looks like in real life. I've only seen it through certain pictures and obviously everything looked gorgeous and I want to make sure that it is the same in real life. Since it's a long bus ride, we took our friend we brought our friends with us so that we have someone to talk to or else we will get really bored in the bus ride. As you can see, it's going to take a while to go there to reach there. Which is why we brought our friends. Yay! So we just got off the bus and now we're walking towards the main tourist destination, the main center of Trusa. And here are our friends who are walking with us. shops such as such as fast food shops, Ikea, Coop and other Asian or Oriental restaurants for tourists. And to be honest the food looks really good especially the pizza. Here is a fast food restaurant. They sell pizza, burger, fries, coke and etc. This is my friend, he's playing with his yo-yo. As you can see, it's really cute. He's just dangling it on, on his hand. And there's another friend who is riding the scooter, of course. He loves the scooter. He literally cannot live without it. Wherever he goes, he will take his scooter with him. Which is really funny, but cute at the same time. So this is the name of the restaurant, Trusa Grill. Of course, it's a very classic name. So this is the center point where all the tourists gather up to hang around, watch the beautiful tiny fountain and eat ice cream from these tiny cute shops. Apparently the ice cream here is really good so we will go and get some ice cream soon. But first we will look around here. So we have a coop. We have a tiny market over there on the left hand side with all the tiny tents. That is the tiny market. This is a tiny, this is an area where you can hang out. There are benches and this symbol. 
the statue over here. So guys, on our left hand side is a boutique, which is a medical shop. It's like almost a pharmacy, but you can get basically anything here other than food or clothes. You can get hair products, makeup, medicines, body lotions, etc. So here is me with my mom. We are heading towards the market because we want to see what's there because my mom is thinking to buy something. So here we are at the ice cream shop. We are enjoying our delicious ice cream. At first I was a bit hesitant. A bit reluctant about it because it was cold and you know if you eat ice cream and cold you will become sick so I didn't really want to eat ice cream but then when I saw everyone else eat ice cream I was like okay you know what I'm gonna eat ice cream <sighs> so this is my mom and there is my parents friend and then his son which who is my friend So here we are, after eating our ice cream, we are heading towards the lake. ride these boats and sail around the area to see the beautiful views of Trusa. The river is filled with lotus leaves which looks really pretty but at the same time it is kind of polluting the river but that's okay because it's a natural resource guys we are now heading towards the area where the lake meets with the river 
And also in that area, there are much more things to do. There is a huge park. There are some tourist shops, which are called souvenirs, in other words. There is apparently also a fishing market and I'm really excited because I want to go inside the shop and see what kinds of fish there are. And there is also going to be an information board where it will tell what types and how many types of fishes are there in this water area, in this river slash lake. There is a beautiful bridge in front of us and we will go on there and take a photo shoot. Our friends have already gone up there and they will take a photo first and then we will go. This area feels like a fairy tale. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I really like this place. It's very aesthetic. Near the river, there are beautiful buildings. They're so gorgeous that they look unreal. They look like they're straight up from a movie or something. And these are mostly summer houses. Many people live here to enjoy the views. And a few people live here like, you know, for their daily lives. These people are sailing, of course. <laughs> they seem to have a lot of fun. But yeah, guys, this is how our day went today. In Trusa, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, share.